and welcome to the Britpath workshop. My name's Danny Hopkins and I'm here in Shropshire with Paul Myers, who's Britpath's MD. Paul, you don't just sell parts here, do you? You also offer expertise and guidance, that sort of thing. Absolutely, yes. Um, with the experience we've had in the trade for the last uh, 35 years, um, and a lot of the staff we have um, have worked for us for that sort of period of time, uh, we can offer technical advice as well. And an example of that would be the Land Rover show this year at Peterborough. That's right. Uh, we had a team there who were demonstrating diagnostic machines and also working in a workshop arena um, with the LRO guys, fitting the new parts and uh, repairing a Discovery one. I remember it well. We were working there with the Lynx Diagnostics. We're also on the uh, Discovery. All the parts we fitted were brick part. And I have to say, everybody that I met from your team w was absolutely brilliant. So it was very successful. Thank you. So this is a machine that you also sell to your trade customers. Um, what is it and what's it for? OK, this is a workshop tool mm -hmm. which they use for uh, cleaning out the transmission, automatic transmission on the Land Rover cars. Mm. Uh, basically, what we do is hook it up to the car. It then um, monitors itself and takes out the uh, transmission fluid, replacing it with clean transmission fluid and flushing it through. Brilliant. And this is an additive that you use with it? This is the additive which uh -huh. uh, helps clean out that process. The advantage of a machine doing it is that we can get about 95% of the oil changed in the transmission. Okay. On a standard uh, drain and change of filter on a transmission, you'd probably look, only look at 40% of the oil being changed. Goodness me. Okay, I didn't realise that. So this is really worth doing then? Absolutely. On a high mileage car, um, on a heavy use car, it really cleans out and gives the, the gearbox a deep clean. So how does a retail customer make sure that this is being used on their vehicle? They can specify that when they go in and ask for a car to be serviced, uh -huh. uh, talk it through the technician and ask um, if it, is it relevant for the mileage of a car. If it is, uh, they, they can arrange it for you. Great. And this fits onto any Land Rover with an automatic box? Correct, yes. Yeah. Great stuff. OK, well, let's uh, go over to the workshop now and see if Steve and Martin can replace 90 to 95% of the automatic transmission fluid on a Discovery 4. Right, so we've got this Discovery 4 here that we're going to be performing the gearbox flush on. The first thing we've done is raise the vehicle up in the air and take off frontmost steel under tray and one of the plastic corner pieces. That's allowed us to route the gearbox flush machine's pipes onto the oil cooler, which is where it's going to retrieve and pump the new oil in. On a Disco 4, the oil cooler is underneath. On a Discovery 3, the oil pipe fittings are accessible from under the bonnet. So, the oil pipes are connected. The next job is to plug the machine onto the vehicle's battery, which will power it up. The machine will start up. It will then ask us to run the engine on the vehicle. Once the engine's running, it will start pumping. It will fill this window on the machine with gearbox oil. You can then go into the menu and you can select additive load. What that does is once you've poured the ATF additive in, running the vehicle for five to 10 minutes will pump that additive through the gearbox, torque converter and all the oil pipes to clean out any debris before we then introduce the new gearbox oil. So once all that's in, we can refit the cap press the button on the machine and that will pump the additive into the oil system on the car. So that's introduced all the additive into the gearbox oil system on the vehicle. The vehicle's oil pump in the gearbox is now pushing all the additive around the system which will free up any dirt and debris which is then going to be dropped out when we replace the oil. While the gearbox oil flush is going through the system, it's worthwhile cycling through all the gears while keeping the vehicle stationary. So go from park all the way through to drive, back to park. Doing this a couple of times, just make sure that all the sludge is taken out of all the different valves in the gearbox. So now we can go back into the menu and tell it how much oil we want it to pump through and how much it will then replace on a one-to-one -one basis. It will measure the old oil coming into the machine and replace that with the correct amount coming back out into the system. So 10 litres. We know there's enough fluid in the tank. 
and we've already added the additive so we can skip that section and now that started the procedure it's going to measure the amount of old oil that comes in and systematically pump in the right amount of new oil the lifeblood of an automatic gearbox is its oil now here we have two lots of gearbox oil and these are exactly the same oil this one however has been through some use this one is fresh now contained within here there are lots of little bits of dirt and debris that are suspended now it may look okay but if these little bits of dirt clog up valves then the gearbox is not going to function correctly whereas here we have lovely clean oil that means there's no debris in it it's not going to stop the gearbox from performing its vital functions it's a simple thing change your gearbox oil regularly this could spoil your journey this is going to get you there okay so the machine's just coming to the end of its 10 minute flush cycle in a few moments it will start pumping the old oil out of the system and replacing it with new it will do that fully automatically until all of the oil has been replaced also it's clear to see when it does do that the oil in this window should become visibly cleaner as the machine goes through the process what you can see on the display is the amount of oil coming into the machine the old used oil coming into the machine and it's counting out the new oil that it's pumping back into the vehicle so all of the old oil has now been dispelled from the pipes the torque converter and the gearbox itself and replaced with new oil we're not going to worry about putting another additive in this now because we know it's been flushed fully so we can go and press that to skip and the procedure is complete the next thing we need to do is replace the gearbox oil filter which is going to be the next in our series of Britpark workshop videos